Hey guys, welcome to Medic Minds video series on common MMI stations. This involves us going through stations which have actually been tested by universities in the past. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Annika and I'm a fifth year medical student studying at UCL. So, this station is all about breaking bad news and apologising for a mistake. This is something we practice a lot at medical school. As future doctors, we'll have so many difficult moments in which we have to inform patients when relatives have passed away or if someone, someone has been diagnosed with a terminal illness. This station is testing your communication skills and your empathy. Obviously, you're not required to perform this at the level of doctors, but the university wants to see that if you have the right skill set to manage the situation well in the future. Being sensitive, remaining calm and being honest is the way forward. Let's now show you the information the candidate gets at the beginning of the station. How about you pause the video now and have a go at the station, either by practicing by yourself or asking a family member or friend to be the actor. Let's now watch this candidate and have a go at the station. I will be giving my analysis at certain points in between. My name's uh, Rohan, I'm one of the F1 doctors. Okay, you've been looking after my mum? My yeah, I've been looking after your mum. Um, okay. Sorry, uh, just remind me of your name again. Uh, my name is Matthew. Matthew, okay. Just um, just take a seat for a second. Sure, sure. So um, I just kind of wanted to explain exactly what's happened. So um, I don't, how much of the situation do you know so far? Okay, so the candidate starts very confidently. They introduce themselves with their name and role, which is a really nice way to start the station. They also check cons consent to make sure that they're dealing with the right patient. This is very important, as you could end up speaking to a relative another, of another patient and therefore break confidentiality. Let's continue. I, I know that she's been very poorly and, you know, I've taken time off work and I've been looking after her as much as I can, but mm -hmm. I just don't know her condition's getting worse and worse. What's going on, Doctor? Okay, so she's been brought in um, quite recently mm. um, and she'd been brought in from a previous condition, but you know you know that she's a diabetic? So, diabetic, yes, yeah, yes, so she, she has type two, yes. Um, and I'm really very sorry to say that unfortunately there was a mis mistake sorry? with the either the prescription or the delivery. Sorry, wait, could you clarify? A mistake? Mistake, yeah. Okay, so the candidate establishes what the actor already knows, which gives them a good baseline of what further information to give. The candidate then apologises immediately. Using the phrase, I'm really sorry, is allowed. The candidate is extremely direct that there has been an issue and does not beat around the bush. Let's carry on watching to see how the candidate deals with the actor becoming angry. So mistake by who? Um, exactly who's part of the, exactly where the mistake was made, I'm not quite sure exactly yet. But essentially what happened was that, um, you, do you, are you familiar with insulin? That your mother was trying to get Yes, my mother's been on insulin for a so long time, yes. Unfortunately there was a mistake with the dose. Um, so so she made a mistake? No, there was a mistake in terms of uh, from the hospitals. The hospital, as in from uh, from one of the members of the team. So your your team has made a mistake to my mother. There was a mistake. How is she right now? First of all, so currently, it's a good question. That's a good question. She's currently stable. We're doing all that we can to be able to. I, I don't understand. She, she she's she's on insulin. Uh, GP has written letters and everything. How can this go wrong? Um, I, exactly. Again, I'm not. I don't want to give you a false answer. So I, I don't know exactly. What That's an absolute disgrace. Absolute disgrace. The actor is becoming increasingly angry now, and it's very important that if you're unsure about anything, not to give any false information. By saying, I don't want to give you a false answer, they are avoiding confusing the situation even further. Yeah, I'm very, I'm very sorry about that. Um, I, I, how dare you? I, we pay our taxes, how can this NHS do this? No, I'm, I'm paying my taxes for this NHS to make mistakes to my mother. It's not on. So what, as in the sort of, as in I'm, exa again, I don't know exactly what the oh, situation is. Oh, this can't I'm, NHS. I'm really, I'm really very sorry about exactly what's happened, but what, are you rest sure that whatever's happening to your mother, she will be... Is in, she okay? You she's, still haven't... She's stable right now. I'm she's, doing, what does stable mean? So stable means that she's not getting any worse, mm. and the exact situation she's in, I've just need <sighs> to see her, and she's, 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 she's okay, but... Oh. But we need to make sure that this doesn't happen again, and I'm sure that you... Oh, yeah, so it doesn't happen to my mum again, yeah, sure. It doesn't happen to your mum, it doesn't happen to anybody else. The actor's becoming increasingly frustrated, but the candidate maintains their composure and does not ra raise their voice. Throughout, they're showing great empathy, and they are doing this both verbally by using phrases such as, I understand, and also non-verbally by making good eye contact. At this point, they're talking about the next steps. Let's see how they deal with this. 
How can I be sure of that? So what we're going to do, so what we're going to start is we're going to start a, a process of auditing. So what that will involve is that means that we're going to take on, obviously this, this is a serious incident. Of so course, it's very serious. Of course, yes. very, I completely I can't agree. believe this. I completely agree with you. Uh, so this is a serious incident that's so going to be reported. It's going to be reported and then logged. And then what we're going to do is that we're going to start invest. It's going to be investigated into exactly what happened, why it happened, and can I call my solicitors? Exactly. I mean, um, as far as that's where I'm sure that you can do whatever you need to do. But what we, I think, the main thing that we want to get involved and we want to fix is that we want to be able to actually make sure that this sort of situation does happen again. And I'm sure that you'd agree. Hmm. Well, it's happened already now, isn't it? What can you do now yeah. apart from say sorry? Exactly, and I'm very sorry. I apologise multiple times as well. I'm really very sorry about that. I know, that. I know. Sorry, I'm taking my anger out on you. Yeah, Everyone that's, makes mistakes. That's completely, Everyone makes mistakes. that's completely understandable. I know. <laughs> sorry, it's just me being angry. Don't, don't worry about it. You that. know, my mother, I've been looking after her. I, I think that anyone in your situation will react exactly the same way. So mm -hmm. don't blame me. Sorry for overreacting. And I don't, I don't take it personally at all. I completely understand that. So, that's the end of the station. Overall, what the candidate did well was he stayed calm, maintained eye contact, showed verbal and non-verbal empathy. He was reflective, like when he said, I can see you, you are upset, being open and honest, and finally showing the next step by saying things like, what can I do for you? And let's try and work on things together. Here is our examiner's card. Pause the video now and have a read. Here, the candidate clearly scores two marks. They introduce themselves as the F1 doctors and clearly explain their relationship to the patient. The candidate does this in a very sensitive manner. Some candidates use an accusatory tone, which is inappropriate. The candidate explains the timeline of events very well and clearly outlines what has happened. Unfortunately, the candidate did not give a warning shot. In an ideal world, a model candidate would ease in the news. They could use a phrase such as, unfortunately, I do have some bad news for you. The candidate does openly admit to the mistake and is very apologetic. This is very important and you should be as direct as possible in this situation as the candidate was. The candidate also explains what the actual mistake was. It is important that the family understand what exactly went wrong and the consequences of it. The candidate alludes to the further treatment but does not go into sufficient depth. They therefore score one mark here out of the two. The candidate clearly uses verbal cues by saying things like, I understand. They also make great eye contact and maintain an open, friendly body language. The candidate maintains their composure well throughout the process. The candidate explains the process of auditing and the next steps thereafter. The candidate mentions that they will document everything and clearly explains what the patient's family member can do to investigate the situation and file a complaint. The interview ends well and the candidate does thank the actor for their time. That's the end of our video. This is the second of our series on MMIs. Please subscribe to watch some more. Thanks for watching. Click here to sign up for one-to-one -one tutoring with insider university knowledge, guaranteed improvement, and a personalized experience. Get your medicine offer today.